Hello, my name is Darnell Brown. I'm Chief Operating Officer for the City of Cleveland. Uh, as part of my responsibilities, I have oversight of the Department of Public Works. One of the divisions in that is the West Side Market. Uh, of late, there have been a number of issues that have appeared on social media regarding the West Side Market. So I'm here to answer some questions today about the future of the West Side Market. If I look at the current state of the West Side Market, I'd say to you right off the bat that over the last five years, we've spent about $5.3 million in improvements to the West Side Market, uh, including uh, the parking facility, a uh, number of electrical improvements, uh, and other improvements to uh, infrastructure there. As we look forward, we completed uh, an assessment in 2018 of the entire Westside Market facility. Uh, as part of doing that, what that came up with is an, another recommendation of another $5.5 million in improvements that have been recommended. We recently entered into a contract with an architect firm uh, whose job is to uh, put together preliminary plans for uh, all of the improvements, the entire $5.5 million of which uh, $2 million has been authorized for improvements for 2019. The first phase is about $2 million uh, in improvement. Uh, we're in the process of uh, actually executing the contract for design uh, as we speak. Uh, and so those, those uh, design improvements have already started. Uh, and so during the first quarter of next year, January, February, March, we'll start to see work orders initiated for what I'll call some of the priority uh, critical work. And so some of the electrical improvements uh, that need to be uh, done, electrical improvements are uh, electrical service for the impact of the entire facility. So uh, whether it's the electrical panels, uh, whether it's the vendor areas uh, that include the display cases, uh, also the outlets uh, and uh, uh, power just to the uh, general area, including uh, emergency lighting. That work is uh, going to be executed and we'll start to see work orders in January, February, March of next year. Shopping habits have changed. One of the things that we wanted to do uh, was to figure out uh, what do uh, our customers and constituents expect or want to see at the West Side Market. So to facilitate that, we actually recently completed uh, a number of surveys which kind of talk to uh, or speak to uh, not only the type of products, but type of vendors, et cetera, that uh, our folks would like to see. Uh, also, as part of that discussion, uh, we have to look at uh, how people shop now. And so everybody doesn't want to come in and pick up product, et cetera. And so uh, there's a lot of discussion around uh, online uh, shopping, uh, delivery service. Uh, and these are certainly things that we think uh, will help uh, the experience of the West Side Market because it, uh, while it's helpful to improve the physical uh, structure itself, uh, we also have to do something with respect to the marketing and outreach uh, and development of the clientele because we need to get bodies into the facility to shop. The Westside Market uh, is what we call a small enterprise. As such, it is expected to cover its own costs and so uh, it should pay for whatever the cost of operation and services are. Uh, it, of late, uh, it's been struggling uh, to do that so much so to the extent uh, that in some years in, uh, in the recent past, we've actually ended up subsidizing uh, a small portion of the operating costs uh, of the West Side Market. And so, uh, again, uh, what we have to do is we have to come up with new tools, new opportunities for outreach, um, also for diversifying uh, the, t the types of tenants and vendors that are there uh, so that we're, we're compliant with what uh, folks in the community uh, who will want to have that type of service are expecting or looking for. Again, we got a lot of input 
uh, from uh, the surveys that we did, but uh, we also have to make sure that we're being strategic in our marketing and outreach strategy. So whether that's through social media or, or an, uh, a very, uh, you know, a very good marketing campaign and strategy, these are things that are on the table on the board uh, for development uh, as we move forward. Uh, we'll start to see some of the effects of that work also in the first quarter of 2020. the end of the year and generally uh, what will happen at the end of each year is we get an indication of uh, folks who intend to renew uh, their contracts with us uh, for their stall space uh, or we get an indication of people uh, who will be moving on uh, uh, because of whatever issues or concerns uh, and so uh, we are in that phase of, of discussion as we move forward again uh, one of the things that we're doing and that we're concentrating and focusing on is outreach because maintaining the existing tenant base is important to us, but we have to grow that. And by growing that, I mean that we have to be uh, cognizant and aware of what the needs of the uh, existing clientele and customers are looking for. And so we are, again, we're, we are doing a, a lot of work on uh, outreach um, and uh, we'll also be doing a lot of work on developing relationships with folks who have applied for space in the West Side Market. So uh, it's a dynamic process. People leave, people come. Uh, our goal at the end of the day is to retain as many of our existing long-term customers as possible. I would simply say that, I mean, this discussion really has been around uh, the whole discussion of uh, where the market is, improvements that have been made, um, improvements to be made, marketing outreach and strategy, also keeping uh, in touch or keeping uh, uh, um, abreast of what are the things that uh, the shopper in 2019, 2020 is expecting uh, from uh, a, uh, a, a service, a market, uh, and we're listening uh, and then developing strategies to move in those directions. And so at the end of the day, uh, we need to take care of the physical structure itself. We need to take care of the operations plans itself. We need to have a dynamic marketing strategy. And all this is geared to getting bodies uh, into the facility uh, so they can take advantage of the great products and, uh, that our tenants and vendors have and have had for a number of years.